Hey everybody, I'm John Bilfus, executive chef of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse in Owasso, Michigan. Happy New Year! Even though so far it's been a little rough, but keep our fingers crossed, things are gonna get better. I have a great recipe for you today. Irish stew, a couple months we got, you know, St. Patrick's Day coming up. I love Irish food and I do make a lot of it. I think this is the first Irish video I've had for you. So let's get in the kitchen and start making this delicious Irish stew. Here's everything you're gonna need to make my fabulous Irish stew. Two and one half pounds of lamb stew meat cut in one half inch chunks. Now you can use lamb stew meat. I prefer that sometimes, it's a little fattier. Today I'm using leg of lamb, which is just as good cut in one half inch cubes. Six cups of chicken stock, two diced potatoes. These are your pretty large Idaho baking potatoes that I've peeled and diced. Four carrots peeled and diced three celery stalks, diced, one medium onion, diced, two leeks, chopped, a stalk of rosemary, a bunch of thyme, now today I'm using a tablespoon of dried thyme because I don't have any fresh thyme, and some minced parsley. Well, if you've watched many of my videos, you're getting really used to this large Dutch oven that I use. So our first step here is we're gonna take our chicken stock and our lamb. And bring this to a boil and as this comes to a boil let's skim off any impurities that come up to the surface so help ensure that you have a nice clear broth now we're going to turn it down to a simmer put the top on let's let it simmer for 60 to 70 minutes while that's simmering write a note to the lodge company to remind them to give me a sponsorship. So now this has been simmering for about an hour. I've tasted one of the pieces of lamb and they're pretty darn tender, so we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of our ingredients. I'm gonna stir that all in. Now I'm gonna put the top back on here. Let this simmer for about a half hour until everything's nice and tender. We just have to taste for salt and pepper. I'm going to add some salt. Add some pepper. Just give that a good stir. Give that a taste. Oh my God, that's right on the money. I'm going to add about a cup of chopped parsley. I don't chop the parsley too fine because I want you to see it in this recipe. And it actually really does add a bold, important flavor. There's our rosemary sprig. Let's take that out of there. And there we go. We're ready to put it in a bowl. Hey, thanks again for watching another exciting episode of Scratch Cook with John. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Scratch Cook with John. And we'll see you again soon with more recipes from all around the world. Note, I have not been banned from Twitter, YouTube, or, you know, Instagram, Facebook, any of those. So continue to watch. It'll be great.